Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project sales management system and I have developed this project in Node.js, uh, MySQL and the front-end development I have used uh, in Angular for developing front-end and the version for the Node.js I am using is Node version 14, Angular version is 11 and MySQL version is 5.6 so uh, angular is for the front end and all of the uh, communication between the front end and back end uh, we are doing from the api so we have developed api in node.js and uh, that api has been consumed by a uh, angular application to show the data on the front end panel right so these are the technology stacks which i have used for developing this project version i have also updated you so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented inside this project right so once you run this project so as you know that uh, for running the angular application you need to install and you need to run npm install first and after that ng serve once you run the ng serve then this page will be loaded on the port 4200 localhost uh, port 4200 right so once you get this page then you can log in this is the admin login page without login you will not be able to access the internal pages there is a restrictions right so you will not be able to uh, access the internal pages so the user id is admin and password is one test one two three four right so once you log inside the system you will get this page so this is the sales dashboard you can see this is a simple dashboard and this is a bootstrap theme also right so you can toggle the menu here the page size will be increased even here from here you can log out and this is the name of the user means admin who has logged in right so this is the product report from here you can uh, see all of the product reports if you want to edit the product then just click on the edit and after that you will be able to edit the product report right for deleting the product report there is a delete button once you click on the delete then that item will be deleted from the database so you can see there are nine items available here if you want to add any new product just click on the add new product and here you can add product here this is the product type this drop down is coming from the database so uh, if you want to add more type then you can add uh, it into the mysql database for mysql i am using the jam server this is a product code title stock cost per items and descriptions so after entering all of these fields the data will be saved into the database this is a add cells this is a sales dashboard from here you can add your cells but before proceeding to cells you need to enter the customer name first so suppose i am entering kumar and the enter the customer mobile once you enter the name and the customer mobile just click on the start cell then sales dashboard will be appear right so here you can see there is a add item into the cart right and here this is a select order <coughs> so once you this drop down will contain all of the products which is available in your database right so currently we have nine products that's why it's showing the nine products right if you want to add more products then you can add it from the add product section so this is the select product and the quantity suppose i am adding the 12 right so you can see uh, this is the mustard oil 1.50 cost and 12 units and total cost is 18 right again i am going to add some other thing and add so you can see that item has been added into the cart and macaroni so add item so you can see these are the sales id product name price per unit and total units right total units what you have uh, bought and uh, means what customer has bought and uh, the total cost so the total cost is calculating automatically you can see right if you want to delete any item from the card just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from the card this is a save cells right once you click on the save cells then whole uh, page will be whole page data will be saved into the database right so you can see the whole page has been saved into the database and this all details are coming from the mysql database right so this is the sales dashboard so this is a sales report you will be able to get all of the cells which you have made right from the sales dashboard section so you can see this is a sales dashboard and this is all of the details right if you want to see so this is the last cells which i have made if you want to see the detail just click on this icon and after that you will be able to see the details of the cells so you can see this is the detail of the cells right if you want to delete any of the cells cells data just click on the delete button and that will be deleted from the database right 
logout so uh, once you click on the logout then session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages so logout you can see you has been directed to uh, login page if you want to log in again just click on the login and you will be able to access the uh, admin parts right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a node.js mysql and angular project node.js we have used for api development mysql for database angular is for front end development if you need extra functionality more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much